Hi guys, uh, welcome to the next video. Um, we're still looking at this vertical slot fish passage ladder, a uh, fish ladder um, that we left off on the last video. Um, I wanted to just, I had some questions after I finished the last um, couple of videos and, um, and they were just personal questions to me. Um, because I, I wasn't sure exactly, you know, um, I wasn't sure why a fish that was swimming out here in this big river would be enticed to come up something like this and why it would, I mean, why, why would it? Um, I know that when we discussed this ladder, we discussed that these were steps in the ladder and that the steps were very specific steps. We found out that they were very specific steps. They were things that we needed to learn and we needed to understand um, that our heart needed to become more like the Father's heart and it would take steps to go ahead and in our maturity, in our walk with the Lord, um, we had to continue to mature. Um, so we understand that this is an elevation. It is a ladder. We are going up the ladder and we are being elevated up the ladder um, within our walk of the Lord. And, you know, so, well, why is that? Well, because the goal is, is that, you know, it is our desire to return home, uh, to be with the Lord. Um, that is, that is why most of us are seeking and pressing into the Lord um, so intently um, and that, you know, that is our desire. And so we'll do these steps and we'll go through the trainings and the trials and all of the testing and all of the teachings that we have to do to mature in our walk with the Lord and to have our hearts conform to be more like fathers, like father's heart. So, um, but why for the fish? I mean, what was the draw for the fish? I, I just, for some reason, I had these questions in my mind and I just, I needed to come up with some answers. Um, so I looked around a little bit and I did find a, um, I found a particular website that, um, basically talks about, um, the design of fish ladders. Um, and this is actually a picture of one. Um, it appears to be quite a large one. Um, but here's a small little, um, video. It's two minutes long and we won't even watch the whole thing. I think we'll only watch about a minute, minute and a half to get to the information that I really would like for you to hear because it does answer the questions as to why the fish um, would be getting on to the ladder and you know, what's going to draw them onto the ladder. I mean, if they're out in the open, what's, what's going to draw them to that narrow opening that they need to enter into? So let's just listen to this for, um, for about a minute, minute and a half. 400. Brent Mabbitt is measuring and weighing fish caught below the 32 foot high Thompson Falls Dam. And this is how we caught them. It's a 45 step state-of-the-art, tallest of its kind in Montana, fish ladder. It rises 72 feet from the Clark Fork River below and was designed by and paid for in full by PPL Montana. Some of the numbers are astounding. They spent a million dollars in research in building the facility, then spent seven and a half million on constructing it. They blew out 2,500 tons of rock and then laid down 1,600 cubic yards of concrete. And it's the first of its kind in the continental United States, built specifically to accommodate threatened bull trout. Because we are a block for bull trout, we need to try to eliminate that block. Of the approximately 1,600 fish that already climbed the ladder this year, very few are bull trout. Just the simple fact we've only got two of them kind of tells you the plight that they're in. They're in trouble. Here's how the 56-foot-long ladder works. Fish are attracted to a small opening at its base by discharged water. Once inside, they swim against a strong current. The individual steps, or pools, are 5 feet wide, about 6 to 10 feet long, and have openings at both the top and bottom of each entrance. And this ladder isn't easy to negotiate. I mean, we've got, it's going through 45 different pools and spills that they're going through. Uh, there are 6 to 9 cubic feet of water spilling through every one of those, so they're fighting, fighting velocity. It seems like that drive to go to their natal streams and go to those you know, where they came from is much greater than some of these other outside factors. 
the fish eventually reached the final 17. Okay, so I want to just end it there because I want to reiterate what this man just said. He just said the drive to go to their natal streams or where they come came from is much greater than the outside factors they're facing with the velocity and some of the other issues on this particular fish ladder. So the drive to go to the natal streams. So that this is the reason why um, they're trying um, to get, uh, you know, to get through this fish ladder is because the, they have a drive within them to get home, to get back to where they came from. So it's the same it's the same drive, the same thing internally within us, um, within our walk with the Lord, um, that the fish have. It's the same thing. They Their drive to go back to their home, their home waters, their home, their natal streams, where they were born, where they came from. And um, I was, I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. I truly could not believe what I was hearing. And I thought, you know, if that's just not confirmation um, for us. And so um, he also said that, you know, there were blocks put in the way and they were trying to um, help the fish around the obstacles. Um, obviously, the dam being put into place was an obstacle for the fish, and so therefore the ladder allows them to be able to go around the obstacle and go back up again into um, the waters that they really should be. And um, so it's understandable why these things are needed then. I wasn't sure even why they were needed, but also, too, that he said that, you know, they only saw a, a very low number of the fish that they were trying to get up into that ladder. And that, you know, there th there was a definite plight that they were in, and there they were in trouble. And that kind of aligns, too, with some of the, some of the, um, some of the thoughts about, um, um, about Christians and the the um, uh, the maturity level of their walks and you know and in in the world today we we see we see a lot of them that that are not pressing in with the Lord and not trying to continue with their learning and understanding and movement um, in maturity so um, so I felt like this video was <laughs> it was it just was bulk full of information in you know that you could even hear in one minute and 40 some odd seconds i mean i i don't even think this gentleman who made this video even knows how much information he has just provided us um so you know i did a little bit more information too and um i came across this um um picture and image that we looked at yesterday and when I looked a little bit closer at it I noticed that it said um, there's a notch in the weir crest to attract the fish to the fishway entrance and so he did say in the video in the beginning you may not have caught it but it was outpouring water that attract the fish to this little narrow um, passageway because you know if if the if if they're if they're trying to get this way and the flow of the water is coming this way, you know they've got to get those fish. Um, if the if the fish are coming this way, they got to get them turned around. And if the fish are coming this way, then they've got they can't go over this dam. So they've got to get them attracted to this narrow opening. This narrow passageway to get around the obstacle that's in their way and um, so it's this crashing water it's this rough water the rough and I'm going to bring up the language from the messages um, we discussed yesterday the rough waves the rough waves and so or the rough waters and so I understand okay so this is attracting the fish to go up the ladder, to turn around, and to go back into this direction. So it is getting the fish up the ladder so that they can return home. So that they can return 
home. I thought it was, I just thought it was just fascinating. I just thought it was interesting. And I thought, you know, it's the same, it's the same plight that we have. It's the same inner drive that we have. It's the same goal that we have. We, we all just want to go home. It's, you know, that's where we are. That's where we're at with it. Um, so I went and I looked at, um, you know, how do the spawning of fish navigate the, back to the very same stream where they were born? Well, I'm telling you, it's there's a ton of articles out there. But what I found really, really interesting is not only do they return to the same stream, but sometimes even to the same section of the stream. So it, it is just fascinating reading if you've got some time to go through and read about this to find out, um, you know, what you know, how they, how they even do it, how they even get back there. Um, you know, I would imagine it is instinctual within them, but also, you know, for us, it's, for us, it's instinctual to a point, but it's also the Lord leading us and he's guiding us on everything. I mean, this, even this very study, guys, think back, it all started from a dream I didn't know anything about. You know, it started from a dream I did not know anything about. And I just started talking about it and sketching it out and seeing how it was lining up with scripture. And there were certain things that were popping out. And the Lord led me from one thing to another, to another, to another. And guys, I'm telling you, you can't discount anything. You can't discount the dreams that he's given you because he's talking to you. You can't discount the things that he's putting up in front of you. You know, like the issue with the key. He's talking to you. You know, there's just so many different things. So, you know, just follow his lead. Follow his what he's guiding you and directing you. Follow his instruction. And it may not be an audible voice. It may not be that you're hearing messages or what have you. But you're hearing him. Everybody hears him in a different way. So guys, I just want to encourage you to continue walking with him and continue pressing into him because it is very important for us to increase our levels of maturity and walk with him. And our heart has to be changed, guys. It has to be changed. Um, we have to become more like him. Um, he said in a, in a message, uh, the mirror image of me you will be. Well, you know, that, that's going to take a lot of changing. You know, that takes changing to become more like him. And so, guys, I just I just wanted to bring that to you. Um, uh, let me see. Did I have something else I wanted to talk about? That's just about the water here. Um, no, I think that's, that's about it. Sometimes the fish have trouble finding the entrance. Um, but I think it's the water. It's the it's the pressing down of the water. It even says here that you can't make the water flow too weak. A meager trickle won't attract the fish into the passage area. So there is something there that attracts them. It's instinctive. The Lord's placed it within them. And the same thing with us. That's the reason why we continue and strive to find answers to our questions and to and to search him out and to find out who he is is because we have that inner drive we have that inner um um quest as uh, i guess that's probably the best word i can come up with at this moment but we have that inner drive and that inner quest to know who he is and and to know who we are in him and you know and and what's our purpose and you know, why are we even here? I mean, you know, there's there's all kinds of questions that, you know, I'm sure all of you have at one point in time asked yourself or asked him. So, guys, I just wanted to bring this to you. I wanted you all to see um, the information that I do have. Um, I have a lot more other information that I'm going over right now. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to put out another video here very quickly. Um, actually, it, it's probably going to be more than one if unless I can talk real fast and get it, get it all in there. But guys, I just want to say thank you for being on my journey with me. We're continuing to move forward. We've got some really good information getting ready to come up. Um, we're going to start to talk about Jacob's Ladder. That's going to be the next one. 
So thank you guys. I love y'all and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.